Number 42. A liter of methane gas, which is CH4 at STP, contains more atoms of hydrogen than does a liter of pure hydrogen gas, which is H2 at STP. Using Avogadro's law as a starting point, explain why. Okie dokie. So now we're introducing this concept of STP. I wrote down here what STP actually means. Whenever you see STP, you actually know two values. STP stands for standard temp and pressure. The temperature at STP is always 273 Kelvin, and the pressure of STP is always 1 atm. So in this case, for the CH4 and the H2, and maybe I'll put this, I'll put this over here, right? CH4 and H2. And maybe I'll put like a line here. Now for both of them, they did say that I had a liter of methane gas, so I have a volume of one liter. And the same thing goes for the hydrogen gas. They said that it has a liter, that's a single liter. So I have a volume of one liter. And they're both at STP. So I know the pressures and the temps for both of them. So that doesn't change. So this is one ATM. This is one ATM. The temps are the same because they're both at STP, 273 Kelvin, 273 Kelvin. Okay, and now if I just pull this back, right? Maybe I'll pull this back. What can we find here, right? Well, we have only one volume, one pressure, one temperature. Remember, that's, that's uh, the ideal gas law. That's PV equals NRT. So for both of these, technically, you would use PV equals NRT to solve for what? Well... We have a pressure, we have a volume, we know what the R value is. Remember, R is that constant 0 0.0821, and we have a temperature. For both of these, we're going to solve for the moles. But if we have the same numbers for all of them, we're going to have the same moles, right? So we have the same moles of CH4 and for H2. Now, maybe if I just quickly plug in these values, just quickly, because the idea, the idea isn't to find the moles, but I just want to get a number. So I'm just going to quickly do this and solve for N. So basically what I would have to do is divide by RT on both sides. So I'm going to say one, times one divided by 0 0.0821 and then divided by 273. So, I mean, we're talking about really, really low amounts of moles. This would be, let's just say 4.46 times 10 to the negative second moles of CH4. And the same thing here, 4.46 times 10 to the negative second moles of H2. Okay. But they're saying that CH4 contains more atoms of hydrogen. So how am I going to go to moles to atoms? Well, this was all the way back in the beginning of chemistry where we converted and we used Avogadro's number. Now, Avogadro's law is basically using Avogadro's number. In this case, Avogadro's number is, remember, 6.6. .6 uh, what is it? 6.626 times 10 to the uh, 23rd, right? So if I just times by this, 6.6, .6, or is it 6. Point, is it 6.023? I think it's 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd, right? 6.022? Let's just cut it and say 6.022. I believe that that's the number, right? And this is times 10 to the 23rd. So for both of these, you would times by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And remember, when you do that, you still don't get atoms. You get molecules. So Avogadro's law 
whoop, let me just put that over here. So this would be molecules of H2. So Avogadro's law says if you have the same number of moles, you will have the same number of molecules. And in this case, by just multiplying it, I get, let's just say we have 2.67, no, 2.69. 2.69 times 10 to the 22nd molecules. Okay, cool. But now, how do we get to those atoms of hydrogen? Well, I'm going to kind of go, I'm going to run in a little bit here, so maybe I can just maybe go like that. We'll see how that works. Now, remember, molecules to atoms, now you're just looking at the individual amounts of hydrogen. How many atoms of hydrogen are in CH4? Yeah, there's four H atoms. And how many H atoms are in H2? There's two H atoms. So that's the difference. Now we're taking this value and timesing it by 4. As opposed to with H2, we're only timesing it by 2. And that makes all the difference. So that's why at STP, CH4 has more atoms of hydrogen than hydrogen gas because it just literally comes down to there's four atoms in CH4 as opposed to two atoms of H2. But just keep in mind that the molecules are the same. So that's Avogadro's law. And then you just take it from there. All right? So hopefully this makes sense. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And... I'll see you guys in, in later lessons. If you want to help us out, tell your classmates, tell your friends that this YouTube channel exists. Just gets the word out there that, you know, this, this channel exists. <laughs> and I think it's pretty cool. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate you all. And I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.